what led to your interest in, in Democracy Cafe and our Socrates Cafe and, and the initiatives? Because I got this great message from you. It was really, really made my day and then some. I'm glad to hear that, first off. What I have to say is, for most of my life, I have been enamored with the idea of real human beings who embody characteristics that we think of as only fictional or mythological. Mm -hmm. We think of these people who can stand up and tell mm -hmm. the truth against all odds, who can be righteous in the true sense, not, not a, a partisan sense, that these people can be real. These are ideals that we can actually embody here. And after after Trump won the presidency, I realized that mm -hmm. that I, I had no more time. There was no more time to play. There was no t more time to wait and see if something would come my way. And I remembered your book. Um, wow. And I realized that that was the model that I needed to engage with people mm -hmm. effectively in a zen-like manner, in a manner of self-inquiry, in a manner where you are not attempting to create an artificial hierarchy in a truly anarchistic model, as Noam Chomsky would say. You know, that is my goal. Mm. And I think the Socrates Cafe method, the Democracy Cafe mm. method, and the method of Socratic dialogue is one of the best mm. hopes mm. for the future of mankind. Um, and you're a young person. It was so heartening to me that a young person a very articulate and passionate, socially conscious young person that this spoke to you because it's hard to get young people, in particular, um, I mean, they have so many other demands on their lives, but here you are doing this, fighting the good fight. Trying, doing my best, it's doing what I can. Mm -hmm. I'm here for 60 years, mm -hmm. maybe less, probably less. And so you're aware of your mortal moment, absolutely, yeah. intimately. Intimately aware. And well, can you give me an example of something you'll talk about at a democracy cafe? Definitely. Um, say one of my favorites. Last time around, we discussed what is belief. Uh, how does belief affect a democracy? Okay. Which led to some really, really interesting and interesting points. Yeah. Um, I'd say that that yeah, I'd say that that was that was the most uh, cool. most influential for me. Cool. Just because it, it kind of brought mm -hmm. to heart the mm -hmm. point that there is no simple answer. Mm -hmm. Belief in itself mm -hmm. is not positive or negative. Mm -hmm. And seeing that both of those things can have an impact upon democracy, mm -hmm. both of those ideas. Mm -hmm. Do you think, so your sort of poetic sensibility really is maybe a driving force in some ways? Mm -hmm. I'd like to this. think so. Yeah, cool. <laughs> yeah. All right, cool. Thank All you. Right. Thank Cheers. you. Cheers. All right, so shall we get Definitely. to Let's the get Madden Crown?